there everybody today I will show you how to sew this bag it's a triangular rice ball shaped bag an onigiri bag it's fully lined with a inner pocket it's not too small not too big it's meant to hold just the essentials and carry it on your elbow it's an elbow bag I also sewed up a canvas version. I will show you the steps or the tips and mistakes I made. The back pattern is one piece and it's shaped like an onigiri on steroids. The hole in the handle should be wide enough for your hand to go through. Or you can download this pattern on my coffee shop. It's special price until I change my mind. And I thank you very much for supporting my channel. Let's start with some fabric ideas. print with a uh, matching green cotton fabric the lining stretches out a bit and you will see later on what it does to the handles pleather fabric that has a fleece backing is easier to sew with home machines however every needle hole will be permanent so try not to make mistake. Since my suede fabric has a woven backing, I align the pattern piece so that it is parallel to the finished edges of the fabric. Loosely woven fabric tends to stretch along the curves. You can prep your fabric with iron-on interfacing. You can sew straight stitches around the curved seams, zigzag the seams. So I did all that and it's still what? So I think if I would do it again, I will extend the interfacing to cover the seams and then add the stay stitches and the zigzag stitches. For this step, cut to about 3 millimeters to the sewn line. Taper the corner. The seams need to be cut so that it releases the, the fabric. If you cut too deep, the seams will show on the good side. And to fix that, you will have to turn the back inside out again and re sew the seams. To set the seam so that it doesn't puff up, under sew the seams onto the lining fabric. But I wanted to test this idea of gluing the seams down. I also clipped down the seams to in increase the pleather's crease memory. It kind of worked but under sewing will be more permanent. If you're using canvas, just top stitch about half a centimeter from the edge. We 
will sew up the handles and leave the bag's body for later. So make some reference points all around the handle. We will be wrapping the handle over and around the bag. Roll up the bag at an angle to lessen the bulk. It's not necessary to enclose the whole bag within the handles. So you just need to get to the other side and you can do this by rolling it at an angle. We will sew up the handles in two parts. So sew the handles halfway. As you are sewing, gently pull the insides out to reveal the seams. As you can see here, the stitch line is not perfect. Correct it by sewing a smoother line over it. Clip the seams before flipping the handles out. And then you repeat on the other side to complete the handles. You see here on the canvas bag, the lining warped out of shape and the handles doesn't fit. The lining is too big. So I folded the excess into darts and I just hand stitched the hole shut. So you can see that it's puffy on the lining side. Okay, this step here, we're going to sew up the bag's body. If you want to add any pockets, any accents, any patches to the back's body and now is the time to do it. <laughs> 